Hey friend, let me show you what exactly do I do for a living and yeah, today will be busy day you are coming with me. So we are driving to cabin and I am working on my way to it and I just found that I have to go and check car to get sticker to participate in traffic. That sticker is completely outdated and I need new one to be allowed to drive. Hopefully I will get new one. So I got my line number, I have three people in ahead of me so seems that we will be able to drive to the cottage today that's kind of nice yeah currently i'm working as contractor but i'm working in team with other developers basically that is not so different if i will be full-time basically i'm doing the same work as other team members i assume that maybe lines will be a bit longer and i will need to start work from car yeah and with laptop in my backpack i can work from everywhere that can be remote uh, island somewhere but with good internet or that can be line to the yeah car maintenance service whatever yeah we are working as fully remotely team and everyone starts to work on his own time more or less but uh, we have some kind of virtual office hours but i still have time for coffee <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm waiting while shop will be opened to get meat for midsummer celebration. Yeah, that's my morning routine. No fancy meditation or journaling, but running around for errands and stuff. Next up, gas station. So now I am allowed to drive for the next two years, so that's cool and done. <laughs> Hopefully I will not forget about updating, getting new sticker next year. Yeah, we are starting to work, everyone, on about the same time. For me, locally, it is about 9.30, 10 o'clock, so I still a bit of time. As soon as I'm logged into Slack, I'm ready for work. It doesn't matter if you are working remotely or from the office. For most of the day, as developer, you take programming tasks from whatever project management system is used and work on them. So do I. Programming is business problem solving by code. That's it. In the current project, the business decided that they would like to see user-generated posts in the app. The product manager, designer and stakeholders figure out how that should work and prepare a requirement document. The tech team splits that into development tasks to implement functionality into web, Android and iOS clients. Back in my corporate job, I worked as product manager, so I have been on that side of the process as well. Back in 2016, I switched to iOS development because it is easier to work remotely. You can easily mix work and travel and work even from moving car. Currently, I am working as consultant in iOS team and we are splitting tasks between team members and planning how we will implement that. Besides business requirements, we may have some requirements from Apple, starting from additional changes for new devices and iOS version support, ending with special requirements like user profile delete functionality in iOS app. That is my and other iOS team members' responsibility to find and identify those requirements and rise tickets to implement them. Okay, this is our destination. I will work for the rest of the week from this cabin. No, this connection. Okay, the big one actually is my guest house. We are staying in smaller one. That's our a bit smaller, but there is plenty of space for our family. We are coming here every year for about four or five years in a row already for midsummer, and we like to stay here. Besides working for others, I'm doing my own app development as well. And if you're indie developer, you have to play all the roles in the team. You have to be business, tech, marketing, designer, whatever, everything. Content creation, this is <laughs> videos like this, live streams, all the social networking. That's, that is still more like hobby. I do, of course, some um, tech reviews, for example, keyboard, all that stuff. But um, from revenue perspective, I would say that about two thirds that is consulting, one third it is indie app development, and all the content creation creates about maybe five percent from total revenue so still hobby and yeah all that uh, content creation stuff that's more like you get some gadgets from companies and you can make reviews for them but i do that mostly because it is fun and uh, interesting and you can play with new gear which is also interesting and i can share my experience with you and 
from but from revenue perspective i will say i don't know maybe five percent from all the total monthly revenue and yeah this is my current keyboard for mobile setup i switched from small one mechanical this one is even smaller little bit lighter so my current favorite when i saw it released i worried about those arrow keys i would like to have them bigger in my mind but when i started to use it you know it's fine and yeah white mx master 3s is nice companion for this keyboard so those are kind of small updates in my mobile working setup and uh, yeah if you're curious why i'm working from here <laughs> and not from my home office that is work attention currently it is work day but on the weekend and on at nights we are going to the sea and enjoying midsummer celebration if you are planning to visit latvia midsummer is actually very best time to do that it is shortest night in the year. And that is a big thing in Latvia. Check out that. Almost midnight. If you are going to visit Latvia, midsummer night definitely should be spent on seaside in company like this one. Very fun, highly recommend. Yeah. 